That's good. Hey guys, Trevor and Ben with Shadow Systems. Ben is from our engineering group. He is the brains behind the compensators that we've released in the last couple years. So the CR920P compensator, which is a patent pending design, is Ben's design. And that same uh, technology and design is what went into the MRP and XRP that we're releasing at SHOT Show this year. So I wanted to just walk through that with Ben because he can give a little more insight. First, why don't you just tell us the design goals that you had for the size and why, why this size, why this method for the MRP XRP guns? Yeah, so the trilog attachment method we had from last year was incredibly compact. Um, the application we used it last on wasn't it didn't require to be as compact as we pushed it into this application. Like as you can see, the entire attachment method is a quarter inch long. Yeah, the so, entirety of it. So one interesting fact, guys, is that Ben pointed this out to me earlier. The length of the comp overall is the same length as a threaded barrel coming out the end of the slide without a comp on it. So it's a very compact method. And why do we need that here? Yeah, so because of that, it allows us to get make a quick detach micro comp for this size of gun. I mean, there's one or two other companies that make similar guns, uh, I mean, compensators, where that accomplish similar things, but we made ours quick detach on top of being an incredibly effective compensator. Yeah, and the value is it fits a 17 holster. So the MRP and XRP guns will both fit existing 17 holsters, so you don't have to worry about that, or it doesn't have to be an open bottom holster. It's a very compact design, it does that very well. So why don't we walk through now the, the removal and attachment and you can show some of those uh, yes. features on the comp. Absolutely, so one of the main things that's changed so far with this design compared to some things in the past is that this tool, this this device is now completely removable toolless. You take it off with no tool. So if you take a look here, I'm gonna open a latch real quick and cover it real quick. Once you open the latch, the comp comes right off the front, just like that. Yeah, and so on the on the uh, CRP, we employed a detent, basically right here, to to add as a add redundancy to the attachment. Uh, on these models, we're actually using a modified guide rod. So it's not a requirement. It's not going to un. Uh, it's not going to open on its own. But this just adds the same kind of redundancy to the design that the original uh, detent did on the CRP. Okay. So when the guide rod is installed, that screw protrudes a little bit into the locking lever and it prevents it from being open. And it just adds the redundancy that we like to have in the designs. Absolutely, another feature that we added on this design is that the, the lock has been, the locking piece here that swings around has been modified so that it actually clicks shut and has a built-in extra detention feature. So yeah, it has its own detent basically. Basically, yeah, it doesn't add any parts but it clicks shut if you listen carefully. You hear that click? Once it yeah. clicks in, it's good to go. Yep, absolutely. Um, so then the, the only other thing I want to talk a little bit about is the, the effectiveness of the comp. So the, the compensators obviously are small, and some people might look at that and look at the port size and say, well, I, I just don't know if it's going to be as effective as some of the other stuff out there. Um, the reality is, in, in, our, in our finding, it's more effective even than our thread-on comp, which is much larger. Um, we had a lot of people shoot it yesterday, and it's a very effective comp. Certainly as effective as anything else that's this size in the market. And I personally had somebody tell me yesterday thought it was flatter than a DRP. Obviously, it's all subjective. It's subjective. It's ammunition dependent. It's shooter perception dependent. But don't worry about effectiveness. There's no mistaking that the gun is compensated. Absolutely. Um, so that's kind of the overview. Is there anything else we want to talk through here? Well, I mean, speaking of ammunition uh, selection, I mean, this gun is this compensator has proven to be very, very tolerant of a very wide range of ammunition. Absolutely. We have tried very weak loads with very green shooters, and so far it's been so good. We had, basically, I didn't see a single malfunction I, yesterday. I know, we shot 8,500 rounds yesterday. I think it was 9,500 rounds. Probably more, yes. Yeah, and, like and a lot of that went through these guns because they're new, and we really didn't see issues with these guns at all. Um, a lot of it has to do with the fact that we haven't, uh, we haven't soaked up so much of that energy with the braking effect uh, that the slide velocities are low. The slide velocities are still very reasonable with all brands of ammunition that we've tested, and it's got a standard guide rod. It doesn't require a special spring yes. to function. So. As a matter of fact, we tested it with our heavy spring that we use for our um, suppressors, and they just chugs. Yeah, so. so we think you'll be very satisfied with it. Definitely go check out these guns. They'll be in gun stores in the next couple weeks, the MRP, XRP. This is the first of many videos here from 2024 SHOT Show, and we'll see you again with more stuff soon.